Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are starting the week off with a get ready with me, kind of answering some questions. I just tweeted out to you guys what you wanna know about, like ask me anything. I literally said, ask me anything. And you guys asked a ton of questions. So I'm gonna kind of go through them, answer a few and try to wake up because I am so tired right now. I don't know why I'm having like one of those days where you were just like extra tired for really like no reason at all. So. We need some makeup ASAP and I am gonna use like neglected items. We're going back to Hourglass. We're doing a little Spanish pink from Tom Ford. So I kind of have a look set out of a go-to glam, like really kind of my kind of glam, um, but with older products that I used to love on so much that going through my collection, cause I am doing a purge. I did do a primer purge on Thursday. I'll link that below, but I want to just revisit the things that I raved about so much that I kind of push to the back because new stuff is always coming in. So we're gonna do that. The two questions that are being asked the most are like the baby question, which that's number one. Whenever I'm like, what do you guys wanna know about? And you guys are like, babies. I'll let you guys know if anything happens. Like, yes, one day I hope to be a mom in the next year, maybe. Um, but I will let you guys know, obviously. Um, I am using my By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Primer that I told you guys I had been neglecting in my primer clean out. I'm gonna go in with Hourglass in Buff. I'm actually gonna be a little extra and use two shades. So the first question was babies. And then the second question was everything to do with Halo. People wanna know, why did you start Halo? When are you launching more things? Are you launching more things? Are you gonna do makeup, skincare? I'm just asking like what it's like owning a business. I kind of shied away a little bit from talking about Halo on my channel as much as I did in the beginning because I felt like it was annoying people and people were saying like, oh, you're talking about it in every single video. I'm using a lot of foundation, I'm aware of this. Um, they're like, you're, you're talking about it in every video. And no, I'd talk about it like maybe twice a week. I reeled it in just a tiny little bit. And I want you guys to know that I do post before and afters weekly on the Halo Instagram. I will link that below. Also on my Instagram, I've been doing that as well. So that's a great way to kind of get updates and to see before and afters. This is loud, but we're gonna get this blended in. This foundation, I forgot how much I freaking love this. It is so good. The Vanish Foundation from Hourglass. Okay, so we're blended, and I wanted to share with you guys some Halo before and afters. I haven't done it in a minute, and this won't be like in every video. You will see once a week on my Instagram and Halo's Instagram in the stories before and afters if you wanna keep up with that. The results are so incredible, and I'm loving that you guys DM me, that you snap me, that you message me, you get a hold of me, and you share with me your story, how it is helping you, how it's making you feel, how your skin feels, how the overall experience has been for you. So keep in touch with me and let me know what is up and I'm happy to continue sharing. So we're growing as a brand and we are, you know, over the two month mark now and I will let you guys know about updates as they come. We are working on something really, really exciting and then of course I am going to expand. Like of course, you know, we're just getting started. We need concealer. I'm gonna take from Make It Forever the Ultra HD Concealer. I used to be so obsessed with this. It was all I would use for a while because it has a lot of coverage, but it's very, very thin. So it doesn't bulk up, you know, like Tarte is so good, but it is very, very thick. Like you have to spend a lot of time blending and this, you don't have to spend as much time. So I like really love that. You guys are going pretty deep with these questions and I am actually really okay with it. So beauty lover 87 says, have you ever thought about quitting YouTube? If yes, why? And why didn't you quit? If I'm being totally straightforward, yes, I have 100% thought about like, you know what, screw all of this. Like it's too much, too much pressure. Like I'm putting too much pressure on myself to perform and to get numbers and to upload so many days a week. And like, I'm caught in that and I don't wanna let people down. And whenever I do take a break, like my numbers take a hit and that's just like the reality of it. That's like the sad reality. Um, but also we're gonna bake and I'm gonna continue talking and I'm gonna look totally crazy. It's gonna be so good. All right, so the way that I look at this whole thing is like, 
I love making videos and there's so many things about it that have this unusual creative pull from me and I am living my dream. Like when I think of the old me working at a makeup counter and then I think of me here playing with all this makeup that I never even thought I would be allowed to own or touch or have or anything, I wanna slap myself for even feeling bad at all ever. So I have this like weird guilt thing. Um, for complaining at all, but it is a stressful job. It is a lot to keep up with. It's a ton of work that you guys don't see and you shouldn't see. You should just like enjoy the content. But I guess my point is I feel like I have this tremendous love for what I do the same way a parent has love for a child. Now that means that there's gonna be days when your child has like a meltdown and is kicking and screaming on the floor and you don't know how to reach them and things are just crazy and you feel frustrated and that unconditional love is still there. So yeah, I have moments where I'm so frustrated and I'm like, why isn't this working? Why, why do I feel like creatively at a blank? Or why do I feel like I can't connect with people in my community? Like I run into all of those walls and I have to just kind of push through and do what I can to just keep creating. And somehow every time that I've done that, I find like my flow again. So that's just what I do. But yeah, there have been moments where I felt like, I can't do this anymore. While I'm baking and looking insane, I am going to put on my eyebrows, which takes tremendous focus faith in myself, trust on a daily basis. And I am going to be using the Sephora brand waterproof uh, pencil in soft charcoal. You guys, I love this color. I love this. Oh my gosh, I cannot get enough. This is the new favorite. I love how it looks. You guys are complimenting me on my brows and I love it so much. We're just gonna go into this lovely BH Cosmetics palette. This is a newer one, but it's so affordable and no one is talking about it and it's really, really good. This is the Studio Pro. It is the Ultimate Neutrals Shadow Palette. I really could use a hairbrush. All right, so I'm gonna go in to this shade right here first and I'm just going to warm up my crease and I'm gonna spend a long time doing that. That is the thing that I have found has been the most effective for me right now as far as blending, because I do, I do kind of have slightly hooded eyes is I start right on that outer edge, just kind of getting that color where I want it. And then I just spend like a decade blending. Whoa, okay, this gets really deep. So Nick says, what is the best piece of advice you have ever gotten? And I'm really lucky that I have been around some incredible, incredible humans that are just so inspirational and have just fed me with so much in my life. You know, I have had to reach out for help so many times and there are so many people that have impacted my life in one way or another, but there is one saying that always sticks with me like to my gut. One of the people in my life who helped me through a pretty shitty time, said that the way to really improve confidence in yourself is to do the right thing. And that sounds so easy and so little, but it's actually so big. And I feel like we often know that we're not doing the right thing and we do it anyway. And if we were to take a pause and like do that gut check, we would know like this is not serving me and I need to change things up and I don't know, I think about that all of the time, like all of the time. Not saying that I always get it right because I don't, but like you know, like when you have an hour long conversation with a friend about a guy or a job or whatever, and you're trying to get them to agree with you, even though maybe really like deep in your soul, you know the answer already. So I think the second part of that is that we know more of what we need than we give ourselves credit for. And that's kind of a puzzling statement, but I think it's true. And I think that whenever you're in a time of chaos that you really just need to press pause, go inward and figure it out for yourself because no one else can do that for you. You are in charge of you and your choices and your life. And this is your experience here on earth. So honor that do the right thing and that's how you're gonna just elevate confidence and feel better. All right, going back in the palette, I am going to move down and I'm gonna take these two shades right here with a MAC 224. And it's a dusty palette, be warned of that. And I am going to go a little bit lower in the crease and basically do the same thing. You see how that just makes it have that like nice blend compared to this side? So nice. 
Is that not beautiful eyeshadow though? Like BH Cosmetics, did they, like they went away and like they're kind of back in my opinion. Like I'm loving what they're coming out with. So what do you guys think? I remember wanting one of their like really big colorful palettes. Like when I first started YouTube, that was what everyone used. And I was with like my Wet n Wild and no money at all and buying makeup with coupons, trying to get it for free and making my whole show about that. But man, yeah. BH Cosmetics was like a thing. Taking an Anastasia A25 brush, we are gonna go back into this palette because it doesn't stop. We are gonna go into the shade right here and focus on the outer edge. So I am getting in the crease, but I'm not pulling it all the way through. And I'm not just laying it on the lid either. I'm feeling kind of complicated today, so we're going back into the palette. And now we're taking this shade right here I am just grabbing it on a MAC 230. I should know these by now. I don't know which one this is. This guy, just on the outer edge. You know what? I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Why do you watch my videos? Like, why do you like my videos? Is it the makeup? Is it, some people are like, oh, you're, you have a relaxing voice. Like, what is it that makes you watch my videos? All right, this is looking so good. I love it, I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, we're headed in such a good makeup direction. Okay, more questions. Someone wants to know the owl story. I don't know if I've told this on my channel or not. I honestly, you guys, I've made so many videos that it is not even me being cute. Like, have I told you this before? I don't know. Like, I really don't know. Maybe I have on Snap, but I'm gonna share with you guys the owl story because it's, this is, yeah, we need to dust this bake off. It's been here too long. I'm gonna take some Hourglass Ambient Powder. We're gonna do this. So I mentioned on Snap that I had an incident with an owl. I feel like I have shared this story. Whatever. Um, the way I quit smoking, don't judge, do not judge. Yes, I was a smoker for a long time, um, up until like 28, like on and off. I was in high school a smoker, in my 20s I smoked, and then I stopped for like several years and I was like totally into my health and like all about it. And I was like a raw foodist and I was just like trying that on for size and trying to figure myself out. And then occasionally I would have a cigarette with friends and I don't know, it just was more about socializing and just like talking with someone, I don't know, I, I miss that aspect of it, but now it absolutely revolts me. Like the smell of cigarette smoke to me is the worst smell in the world. I don't know, any ex-smokers out there agree with me that like, it just literally like chills all over my body. I can't stand it and I think how in the hell did I do that to myself? Like, wow. Um, so anyway, when James and I first met, I was still occasionally like sneaking a cigarette and, uh, and he didn't smoke at all. And he was not judgy. He was like, do your thing, like you do you. I'm never gonna try to change you, so whatever. But I was like, you know what? No, I don't wanna smoke anymore. And I just, I stopped. One night, something was going on. There was some kind of chaos in my life. Um, I'm going in with uh, Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. I got in this weird habit where if he had gone to bed sooner than me, I would kind of like ninja crawl through the apartment, like out onto the balcony because he had this huge balcony with this trellis and this over like gazebo type thing. And like, it was really, really cool. Um, so I would occasionally like sneak out and have a cigarette. I was like, what, 27 or 28 at the time. And I, one night was out there and feeling kind of guilty. Like, you know, it goes back to that whole like, you know when you're doing the right thing and when you're not. And I'm like, I know this is not good for my health. It's not helping my anxiety. It's not helping anything. And you know this, so why are you doing this to yourself? And, but I was still, nonetheless, I was out there and I'm just like, you know, having my cigarette. And all of a sudden I start hearing this like, I kid you not, I look up, I like turn my head and it's like barely lit outside. Like it's just like street lights and like really creepy. And I tilt my head and there are these like claws clung onto the trellis and there's this owl and he even did like the, 
I thought I was going to die. I thought I was gonna have my face scratched up and I would just like be injured and like thrown down to the floor by this owl attacking me because it was like the size of a two year old toddler. I'm not even exaggerating. We were living um, up in the Hollywood Hills kind of area. <sighs> Like it's giving me like flashbacks, like I'm having stress even telling this story. He was so close to me, you guys, like so close. Like I could have reached out and like touched him and I'm just standing there with my cigarette and shaking and I have like a jacket on and I just like, I told God, I was like, I will never smoke another cigarette again. Please, dear Jesus God, get me out of here safely. And I kind of like walked backwards and walked backwards and got like the sliding glass door like kind of open and like walked inside and like slammed it shut. And then I was just like watching this owl and he like flew away and he came back. And of course, I really wanted to tell James, but I also did not want to like get busted. Like, hey, I was out on the back. I was out on your balcony smoking and we were like new in our relationship. So I didn't wake him up. And then when I finally told him the story, he's like, well, wait, why were you out there? Cause I, I'm an idiot. And I thought I could tell him the story and get away with like, I was just getting some fresh air out on your balcony for no reason at all at 2.30 in the morning. And he's like, well, why are we on the balcony? I'm like, and I told him, you know, what happened. And oh my gosh, I, that's how I quit smoking freaking owl. We are now going in with blush and this is from Cargo. This is one that I used to obsess over. It is waterproof. It is beautiful. It is called Los Cabos. It's peachy and I love this. I'm going in with an It Cosmetics brush and just stamping away at the apples of my cheeks. We're going to go in with some soft and gentle. This used to be my most loved highlighter and I was so excited when I finally got this. Like I loved this highlighter so much. So we're revisiting this old friend of mine that I still think is just so beautiful. It is soft, it is gentle. It's a really great highlighter. It's just, I love it. Oh my God, why was I looking in here like there's a mirror? There's no mirror there. We're gonna contour with this right here from Marc Jacobs. Take a little JD Weighty 180, JD Weighty, JD Weighty brush. This is something I got into because of James Charles. I used this in my video where I was testing other YouTubers products like their collabs, and this is like such a good contouring brush. It's really, really good. So we have reached the point of the video where I get really annoyed with my hair and I like have to do something about it. Even though I always know we'll get here, I still start the videos with my hair down. I don't really know why I do that. Dude, you guys all wanna know about Baby Westbrook. Okay, I already touched on this, but yes, it's kind of my own doing because I posted that, that, <laughs> I posted a picture on Instagram of James holding my nephew, which melts my heart. Like, oh my gosh. I see that picture and I'm just like, yes, I am ready to mother your children. And, um, and it just, I posted it. So I opened the conversation. You guys are always so curious and it's so funny to me. Whether I have a baby myself or we adopt, we definitely want a family. Like we, we want that. Uh, we need a little shine on the lid, I think. So I'm gonna go into Utopia from Makeup Geek, you guys. This is like why I started my channel because of the way that I feel about makeup and I get certain feelings when I look at this. It is one of my favorites from Makeup Geek and I am going to kind of dampen my fingertip, but I'm just going to pat this on the eyelid. It is so special, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. How could I, oh, how could I forget about this? We're going back to the BH palette and we're gonna grab, I'm gonna grab this shade right here. And yes, that bridged the gap, that did it. I feel like I need a little brow highlight. I'm gonna take the same shade and just go right under here. All right, so I'm gonna spritz before I go in and do liner and lashes. I'm gonna take some of my MAC Fix Plus. If I had two setting sprays that I could use really forever, it would be this and Urban Decay All Nighter, hands down. I basically like to take a bath in it. All right, we need some kind of makeup underneath on the lower lash line. I feel like it is begging for some color. So I'm gonna go in to this guy right here, this guy right here and we are just gonna really heavily smoke things up. It'll look better when I get my lashes on. This is like taking me 5,000 hours to film. I need mascara. I'm gonna use this Koki mascara and load up the lashes. And survey says, am I gonna put on falsies? Am I not? I'm gonna put on falsies. 
I'll be right back. All right, guys, I found some really good questions while I was waiting for glue to dry. Smokey says, after having to deal with a partner who wasn't supportive of your YouTube career, do you remember the very first time you felt truly validated and proud of the direction that your YouTube channel was headed? Okay, hold tight, I, I do have an answer. I'm gonna be taking the lip liner Spicy from Ofra and I'm going to quickly line my lips. Okay, so the unsupportive ex, it wasn't even that I had a YouTube channel, you guys. Like I had never uploaded, I had never made a video and put it on YouTube. It was just the fact that in the past I was with someone that didn't understand why I wanted to do YouTube. And we parted ways and I, you know, I don't wish him bad things at all. Like I learned a lot from that relationship, but oh my gosh, you guys, like it took a long time for me to gain any traction where I felt like it wasn't something that I was kind of embarrassed of as far as making videos. Like I just kind of like shrug it off and be like, oh yeah, I kind of do this YouTube, like, oh, like I kind of make videos and put them on the internet and it's cute and fun. I don't think there's one moment throughout my whole YouTube career career that is like, yes, that's when I started believing in myself because there would be these little things that would happen that would kind of lift my spirits and like push me along that I'd be like, wow, like, look at that. Like, that is so cool. Like Sephora retweeted me or so-and-so reached out to me or like, oh my gosh, I got invited to this event and like little things would be more and more exciting and it all became very, very real the deeper I got into it. And then suddenly it just like all happened fast. Like it felt like it took forever and then it all happened really, really fast. It hasn't been just like one thing. But hey, something good out of that is like follow your dreams. Don't let anybody else tell you what you're capable of because only you know that. Points back to the whole thing of you being able to heal yourself, figure out what's going on with you better than anyone else can. So always kind of take a dive, you know, journaling, listening to music, going inward, listening to what your heart wants, listening to what you think you are capable of because we do have limitations, you know? Like I am not gonna be in the Olympics, that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be a gymnast tomorrow. Like I'm not, like there are limitations, but if you have something special and you know that, and you're like, I know with hard work, and if I work on this and I make my skill even better than what I think I have to begin with and I work hard and smart, like you can do anything. I really, really believe that, so go for it. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. I really like it. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me using older products and just chatting about life and doing a QA. and a I wanna do more of these. I wanna sit down and do an actual just like focused q and I think that would be probably better than me being like, here's a really intense question and being like, I'm gonna do my eyeliner, I'll be right back and being kind of like all over the place. But I still had fun filming this and I just felt like chatting with you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave comments, share the video and turn on that bell. If you wanna see my videos, make sure you have the notifications bell on. All right, I love you so much. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.